hotel room. We've been walking the halls of Essen for the last few days, trying to get all the new, hot, best, awesome games. Um, so we're going to show you in this video the last few games that we've had uh, for the last, yeah, these games that we've got. So first game I got was Coffee Topia. It's a game about buying and selling coffee in Indonesia. It's actually one of our first Indonesian games that we're going to have in the cafe, and yeah, it comes with a nice little wooden crate, or cardboard crate. So we also have Discovery, the Era of Voyage. Yeah. You're discovering, you're sitting around and trading, as always. It's, it's an Asian game. It is. And I have been out <coughs> getting a cold for once, but also getting lots and lots of kids games for the cafe. So uh, we needed some of that. They had some good ones down here and I was, I was looking for that. So I'm going to go through a lot of them. First one is Joe Sue. Here, well, uh, again, all the animals of the zoo have escaped. And Joe, that is you, has to get them and then you get snacks. Get your pizza snack. And it's from four years. Uh, we got Peanut Club. It was a game that we hadn't heard about before we got here, but a few people had played it and it got a little bit of hype. But it's a game that sees you basically trying to buy various goodies like Tamagotchis and uh, sculptures that you're using millions of dollars or peanuts or camels. It's a very silly game, but it's, a, it's like a good auction sort of game. Oh, this is one of the big ones. Nimiton. You are a druid. And you're druiding in the forests. That look absolutely gorgeous. Like yeah. You, like with small trees and being all druid in the... the and, and, and druid meebles, of course. Druid meebles. I had a lighthouse run, also a kid's family game, where you are organizing some boats on a lighthouse run. So it's a rake game. It has a river. Actually, it has a river. It has lighthouses. Ooh. I uh, have Monster, Monster Bande, which has some funky ass, but it just sees you trying to find pairs of monsters in a certain amount of time. Um, <coughs> looks like a nice little game. I don't know who the publisher is, but yeah. Another Indonesian, Bluffing Billionaires, from the same creative company that made Kokotopia. Uh Yeah, you are billionaires with extreme wealth, it says on the back, uh, and you bluff. Then we have the Playroom uh, from Chico. We had a lot of those. Um, and the, the cool thing about these games is that um, they can be played for like really small kids, like three years and up, for example, like this. But then you can add on rules so they're playable for like five, five year olds and, and little. So you introduce the game to the kid, then they start playing, and oh, it's boring. Well, there's more. Boom, more rules coming in. So we'll see if they work, actually. Up to, up to 99 years. Yeah, up to 99 years. So you can just keep <laughs> playing forever. <laughs> keep adding rules. Keep adding rules. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna get more complex. <laughs> uh, so I got Rebel Knox, which it looks like it's from the, the from the same games as the Capital Lux series. So it's uh, it is. okay. So it's a team based card game, and it's like working together to kind of um, with a bit of social deduction. Yeah, I mean I play Capital Lux, but this looks a little bit different. But yeah. nice art. It's from the Norwegians at uh, Porta Games. Ah, ah yeah. And we have here a. Jordan Draper game, uh, Turin Market, it's a very small box, and you are, as the title implies, a trader and you want to buy stuff, sell stuff, do stuff. That's true, that's true. Another Chico game, this one from two years and up, uh, Under the Sea. So it's the opposite of being on mountains, maybe? Hmm. You're under the sea. Blah, blah. <laughs> under the sea. Uh, I got the cat. I don't know what the game about is about because it's in German, but the cat itself winks at you on the Ooh. box. Ooh. That's, 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 that's the game. That's the game. That's the game. You said you're going wink. Here we go. Just winking, so. Yeah. Another Jordan Draper game. The Jordan Draper game. Tokyo Juchaku. Uh, you are being an architect and building homes in Tokyo. Fancy story. Don't know about much about this, uh, you're telling stories, it says. So that's what you do. With a Fanta. With a Fanta. No, not a Fanta. Uh, I have a Borea from Lumberjack Studios. It definitely has a pretty front cover with some lovely art. I think it sees you be basically gardening and uh, harvesting goods and sprouts and flowers. And always always popular garden, always popular. gardening, harvesting. But these, uh, the Lumberjack Studios definitely put a lot of effort into their covers. So, uh, yeah, very pretty artwork. Another Jordan Draper thing. Uh, this time it's apparently a compilation. 
and I have to read on the front because text on the back of the smartphone. Tokyo Jido Hanbaiki. Jido Hanbaiki. Yes. Also about vending, about vending machines, apparently. <coughs> Another chicken game? Zero. Uh, I have Hida Futakara, which sees you basically aligning shops in a row to try and get the most merchants to come, uh, most customers to come visit your shop. But you're building like a street of uh, shops, it looks like. And the last of our John Ray, John Draper games, Tokyo Metro. You are building and traveling the Tokyo Metro, and you're using the actual Tokyo Metro card map. Yes. Map. Okay. Yeah, there's a there's a map in there. A uh, nice piece of cloth thingy. <coughs> so somebody might know the Color Monster. It's a very popular kids book. Uh, and this is the board game. So and it actually looks really really interesting. You're, you're trying to help the, the monster uh, getting his all his, all his uh, feelings are mixed up. So you have to get them in back in the right colors. And you get the kids talking about the feelings using colors. I find that really intri intriguing. And I'm, I'm definitely going to try this on some of the kids I know. Try them. Let's try to explore the kids to this <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> Something No, in a nicer way, of course. So we had a cat game, and now we've got a dog game, Momo and Friend, which is all about a naughty dog, and you're trying to get him to behave or something. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, and but... Is the subtitle running up and down? Running up and down, yeah. Yeah, this uh, naughty. He's a naughty dog, I think, so he's yeah. causing mischief. Staying with the animals, mouse in the house, and yeah, you have a mouse, and... It's in the house. Yeah, and you have a lot of languages on the back side, but none of them are English. So you have the half mouse in the house. It's a kid's game. But uh, also that. You poke you poke the thing and maybe you'll hit the mouse or something. It'll squeak. It had something that had to squeak, so you're like, oh, this is Christmas tree. Christmas gifts, sorry. It's a game about getting gifts. And, and, and putting them on the tree, which is wobbly yeah. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the... There is a wobbly tree, and you have to put it on, the wobbly Christmas tree. And we have Meow Meow Mia, which has another cat game. I guess we've got a lot of animal games going on over here, which definitely is heavy on the puns. You're working, or you're in the Meowfia, and as part of the police force, you are trying to infiltrate them and, <laughs> and trying to find some secret information. So, yes. Uh, yeah, lots of pun heavy game. In Atlantica, you are hiring divers and. Exploring a sunken city, a mythical sunken city, even so, it might not even be that. The next chico game is called Little Arrow, and here you have to shoot your parents with an arrow. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, it's with dice and a lake. So and you, Robin Hood. -ish. Yeah, you you can the shooting shooting parents is well optional optional rules. <laughs> Uh, we also have uh, Kamaka, this is from the same uh, Lumberjack studio that did the other Arborea game with the nice art. Um, back is all in French, but the artwork is just so beautiful that we had to have it, I think. It just looks so nice. You look through it and it seems to have not much to do with the camera. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, I think it's all about having, yeah, ending up to have a life. Oh, you're a dung beetle. Is this the dung beetle one? Yes, oh. I do know about this one. Oh. So you start life as a dung beetle, and you're going through life trying to, um, throughout a different lives, get better and better animals. So you end up in like a grand, awesome elephant or something. But you start off as a dung beetle, and you have to like, finish your life with some karma in the bank, um, so that you can progress to the next level. So yeah. Oh, so, so it's a dangerous game. <laughs> Hope you don't end up as a human or something. Yeah. <laughs> Passing through Petra. A trading game in the Near East, and it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I think it worked. Yeah, it's a good game. <coughs> Be happy from Chico. Down to two years. Uh, nice big bee components. I think your bees out gathering stuff. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, let, let me know when you're finished with the children's game. Yes. Yeah. Does that game have much fun? I have. Lo I have only children's game nearly. Oh. Oh okay. So we also we have strange vending machine from Soso -So Games, and it it looks like yeah I know in, in Tokyo apparently you have lots of these random vending machines with different goods that you can buy, yeah. and this gamifies that whole idea. So I think you have like what's the kind of stuff? There's three games in there. One. 
Two or three games in here. Yeah, something. Two or three, then. And, 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 and the oven the machine even. box thingy is inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very interesting. And, and, and you, could, you could put a coin into the side of it. Very, very interesting. <laughs> and weird. And weird. Can you clean up? Hello, Dino. Uh, and this is why we need to cut out the long rant about people making horrible design choices for boxes because it's in a chuck box. It's in a chuck box. Oh. But it also has like dinos. Ooh. Look. Well, that might be a mitigating factor, but still, it's in a chuck box. Dino eggs and dinos. Yeah, chuck boxes. People, stop making things that open here. They fall apart. Make proper game boxes instead. Oh, it's Thank me. You. Balloons. Which is about, you've lost your balloon, now you want it back. <laughs> well, that ain't gonna happen. It's, fly it's flying away. Oh. And then Life lesson. Uh, so, oh, for oh, for oh, for oh, for tuna. Oh, for tuna. Oh, for tuna. Oh, for tuna. But I don't think it's about fish. No, uh, it's no. a game where you're rolling dice trying to curry the favour of the gods. Um, but you don't want to be too... You don't want to ask them too many favours, otherwise they'll punish you. Oh, yeah. they are. It's a very simple push your luck game. More things about gods or Roman emperors. In some contexts they were kind of the same. <coughs> you are building <coughs> Trian's forum. And dice and stuff. And meebles in colours. Nice. Man, it's different felt. Also so, uh, disregarding the very incredibly interesting front cover, it might actually be good. Holiday photos? Well, it's about taking photos on holidays. And it's for three years, and can then again be played from five years with more rules as all these games. I have uh, Santa Maria, which is an expansion, uh, the American Kingdom's expansion for Santa Maria, which is a popular game in the cafe. And um, yeah, it seems to be you add Cocoa Specialist and a Governor in the Mayan City. So that could be quite nice. Incoherent, a Korean guessing game. Uh, yeah, you put co concepts out there and you try to guess them. I think it's a little bit when I dream like. So you put uh, some it, stuff out it, it and look like that. Yeah, a sort of story uh, for this. Dancing Fish, the last game we have from Chico, from two years and up, and then again from four to ninety-nine. You can keep <laughs> playing it forever uh, while you're collecting fish. The dancing. Uh, another expansion. We have the Quest to El Dorado, the new expansion. This is definitely uh, a good game and very popular in the cafe. Um, I'm not sure what it adds, but expansion for El Dorado is uh, very good. It's like some curses or something. It looks super interesting. I love uh, everything El Dorado. Mm -hmm. <coughs> North American Railroad, Railways, uh, described as 18xx style, but somewhat smaller, as in 45 minutes ish. Come, all of it. So, I'm out of the kids' games and into the golf. Uh, so I teased all a bit because he buys really weird games with weird front covers and then I bought this <laughs> which is Captains of the Golf and it has a swim on it and a hand drawing. I'm not quite sure if it's nice or very horrific but it, it should be a highly complex game. I'm looking forward to trying it. They only had very few copies so it's also rare. You pay a premium for that. And I paid a lot for it <laughs> so it better be good. <laughs> Uh, we have Zor, a game by uh, Andreas Castellanos, and it sees you trying to lead your tribe across a desert, and along the way you've got to go to different um, oasises to try and get water, and praise the gods to try and not die, but yeah, it looks nice, the front cover looks very nice, sort of watercolour kind of front. Now we are talking about the looking nice, cape pen painting, with the subtitle, Me Draw Good. <laughs> <laughs> me, me draw, me draw because good. it is about being cave painters and painting stuff. Though these things that you have to paint seem kind of modern, as in glasses, janitor, rabbit, carpet, and so on. But anyway, all all known from the Stone Age. Uh, yes, <laughs> janitor, <Yes>. whatever. <laughs> oh, it's from Arena Games. They usually make simple and, and good games. So this is a troll park. They oh, don't know what oh, troll troll park. Don't know much about it. It looks very colorful. Has all these pink things going on. You're making a park of some sort. Uh, Ten years and up, so it's not strictly a kids game. Yeah. No, I'm done with the kids game. Cool. 
So another little Indonesian game called Flash Juice, uh, which um, Indonesians take their juice in seriously, and unless you have to kind of get sets of vegetables and fruits and put them all in a blender to score the tastiest juice, it looks like. So. Yeah. Yeah. Realm of Sand, you are making buildings, yeah, you get through a bidding process and it's kind of nice. I think we played it wrong yesterday, but it's kind of nice anyway. Yeah. We didn't use the actual correct rules, we just came up with something. <laughs> Improv. Um, for Order of Sanadu, which is from uh, Kuro. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's a Japanese game. I happened, I get, got the last uh, demo copy, so I hope that there is English rule somewhere because everything here is Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got Nine Worlds. Uh, I quite like the front cover art, although some people might not be a fan of it. Uh, but it basically sees you visiting the, fine, the nine different uh, parts of Valhalla, the nine different... Uh, no, no, the, world, the worlds of Nordic mythology, okay. like, like or, or Midgard and so on. Uh, and, and you're trying to uh, gain, gain control of the different areas as well, but it looks like quite an abstract game, moving these sort of glass beads around and trying to make sure you have the most power in all the different areas. And there are nice glass beads, so. <laughs> and you might want to show the inside of the hood. Oh yeah, and also the artist did a very nice drawing of a dragon for us. Well done. Dragon. So, yeah. Nice. Moving from one fiction to another, uh, we are now hopefully safe out of the children's games, because here we have Red Light. A star is porn. <laughs> and yes, that is what it says. A star is porn. Uh, contains paintings. Oh, oh, paintings. Paintings is a strong yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, images by Milo Manara. Uh, and yeah, it's about porn. And stuff. Mm. Porn and stuff. stuff. <laughs> uh, Costa Rana from RR Games. So you, uh, I don't know what this is about. Uh, you, yeah, you have, you're helping some natives and they're like cups uh, with tents in it. <laughs> Uh, we have Rice Dice, another little uh, roll and write game. <coughs> uh, but it just sees you kind of trying to roll, it's like from the Spirits of the Rice Paddy game. Uh, it's like the smaller, quicker version of it. And you're rolling dice, trying to flood the Rice Paddy to grow the most rice in a season and, yeah, not lose all your goods. But it's a very pretty little game. With a cool name. With a cool rice name. Dice. Rice Dice. And another cool thing Magnificent, Magnificent Flying Machine. <laughs> Uh, by the same designer as Nine Worlds, uh, Richard Denning, and yeah, you're flying around doing stuff uh, while Nine Worlds seems to be almost abstract. This contains both uh, luck and dice and more luck and dice. King and Assassins is a very popular, super, super sharp, super good uh, two-player game that we have at the cafe, but we lost some components for it. But luckily I found the uh, deluxe edition which has nice plastic meebles and stuff like that. Well, we lost some components, but the nice people at the publisher sent us some new oh, ones. Oh, so now we have two. Yes. We also have the new nice version. Yeah. Keep it up with the Roll and Ride games. We have Railroad Inc., which is getting quite a lot of buzz on the interwebs and stuff like that. We also mentioned that in the last video because that we had the blue version. This is the red version. Oh, yeah, we had the blue, and now this is the red version. It deserves its own separate uh, entry into the video series. So. And there are two different items in Walking Geek. Mm -hmm. Now we go to the Darien Apocalypse, which is a history lesson. We are essentially being Scotch people, trying to build a colony in what is today Panama, and dying horribly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did. Uh, they went there and mosquitoes and <coughs> horrible. But okay. again. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I mean, B. Uh, <laughs> So we have here Tales of Glory, uh, that's not about dying horribly, it's about venturing out on quick tales and stuff. It got a lot of buzz and there was a lot of people playing it, so we thought, let's get this one. Also has like really nice graphics, so looking forward to it. We also got Backpacks and Blisters, a game I wanted. It's all about walking in the, the Lake District uh, in Northern England, a really pretty part of the world, but then you get to do all the walking without any of the actual effort. So you get to experience hiking and exploring the beautiful part of the Lakeland Fells without actually dying of hypothermia and 
Uh, and you also don't that. get any of this fresh air thing. No, don't need that. Also, again, a fresh new game <laughs> from the 70s. <laughs> oh, the hotness. Oh, the hotness. Oh, the hotness. <laughs> well, speaking of this, will. Yeah. Ninja? No, Ninja and Pinta. No, no, uh, no ninjas. This is more or less uh, it's quite related to the Darien game. This is also about dying horribly, but then also making the natives die horribly because this is about this, yeah, the same story, just the Spaniards going to America and killing people. Hmm. And exploring, of course. And not dying that much. And it's uh, a quantum game like the Darien game, so you each have a. <coughs> uh, Different kind of the world history at the same time. Kind of weird. Okay, you can do your last one because I want to have the. the I, have a, I have a few more left. Yeah, so, a few more. Uh, right. Right. Yeah, Turkey. 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 Okay. So this is Outback, <laughs> which is about driving a van in Australia uh, and uh, figuring you like looking for for animals. Uh, I have Orang Rimba, another Indonesian game. We went to the Indonesian games and stopped after there. But this is actually, the, I really like the theme of this one. It sees you trying to protect the forest from deforestation. You're moving around as a forest keeper, trying to save the orangutans and making sure there's balance in the ecosystem. And, and, and you also want to upkeep your tribe's uh, social uh, mores and so. Okay. Like, not, not <laughs> before you're married and so on. <laughs> this is a very it's, hard. It, it, it's such a hard Family, unfamily friendly in the video. <laughs> All right, Petrichor. In Petrichor, you are a cloud, and not a naughty cloud, a very not naughty cloud. Like <laughs> as you would drip on everything, like in the song. But anyway, yeah, you're a cloud, and you want to grow most crop, but grow most crops. How many games do you have left over there? You just have one. Is this the last one? <laughs> Yeah, but tell us about it. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. No, you, you, all it. Okay, all it. Okay, <laughs> take away, James. <laughs> so, you go on is, um, it's from the same people that did Hanami Koji, which sees you uh, as a geisha girl. And you're trying to uh, find. Keep it up with you. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not. Not, this is a, not a naughty game. This is a <laughs> Euro game. It's very dry. Well, it's it's their first heavy game. I think it comes out as three point five on Board Game Geek, and like all the others have been quite low. So that's like a much more complicated and uh, interesting game. But nice art and yeah, be good. Cool. And then we are at the last thing we got at the Speed Messer two thousand and eighteen, the Advent Calendar two thousand and eighteen. So every day. Uh, during December, our gurus can open uh, one of these things, and there's a small promo or expansion for one of the games uh, that are here on the back. But I'll not, we have I'll most of them. Yeah, we have most of them actually. Yeah. So, uh, so we have some coziness for the Christmas. And uh, yeah, well, that was it for a, a trip to uh, Spiel uh, in Essen for 2018. We'll be back next year, of course, and uh, we'll do a video where we're gonna shoot all the or the game so you can see them but now i think we'll just be uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> headed home